Hello Flosstube, this is Bonnie Jean, also known as Post Muse, and my channel is Postally Yours. I am a mail carrier for the U.S. Postal Service. I didn't start doing that until I was in my 60s, uh, which was about four years ago, um, but it was a lifelong dream, and I really enjoy it. Um, don't enjoy the U.S. Postal Service as an employer, but I do enjoy my job. Um, and uh, today, last my last floss tube, I did a whip parade. And today is floss tube number 28. And um, I am going to show you my current whips, not a whip parade, just my current whips that I worked on the last two weeks, as well as what I call upcoming whips, which most people call plans. <laughs> These are charts that I have the... Um, the, the fabric, I think all of them had the fabric picked out and most of them have um, the floss toss in them, but um, I can't start them until I make a bite out of some of the whips that I already have. Um, I am making a little bit of progress, so that's great. And um, so, a little update. I'm so, when my kids were little, there was a book called The night after Christmas. And it's about toys that got thrown away after Christmas and all the new toys came. And one of them, there's a little teddy bear. And um, he says something about, um, somebody says, oh, don't worry, you'll get used to it. And he says, I just can't get used to getting used to it. And that's pretty much how I've been feeling. Um, I get cheery very easy, so I'm going to try not to talk about it too much, but it is hard up here. Um, we did have another snowstorm last week, and um, it's just, it's just, it's just very isolated, and I miss, I miss Cape Cod, and I miss home, and I miss my family, but talking about cross-stitching and doing cross-stitching helps me, so that's why I decided I would just go ahead and do my, my floss tube today. So, to start with, my first whip is called Bird Herd. It's also known as Bird Nerd, and it's um, designed by Boomerang Stitches, and I will post that information in the notes. And I just fell in love with this. I don't have a huge amount of bird um, stitches, but I have quite a few, and I, I, I just, I love the birds. I don't feed them anymore because, um, I've been told that that just encourages other wildlife that you might not necessarily want to come by, especially living up here in New Hampshire. And I've been told that what you should do is have freshly filled bird baths. So that's what I might invest in is, is a nice bird bath for the birds. They would appreciate that more and the um, animals, um, other animals, that they won't bother it. So anyways, that's off track. <laughs> Um, so Bird Herd, um, is, um, an adorable design and I'm trying to find it. I had it right here. Okay. So I don't have a picture of it because it is a PDF. So I'm going to put a picture up here and this is done on Bestitch Me 20 Count Ada, which is my new favorite count. I love it. And it's, the color is called Sorbet. And there are three birds, and I got the first one done. He's just adorable. I love him to pieces. So cute. Um, and this fabric is gorgeous. Um, I love it. It's uh, that part's very, very orangey pink, and this part is more. This half is more peachy. I love this fabric. So I'm doing this with the Call for Colors. It's all DMC. Um, obviously not in the same fabric they used. I tend to go wild and crazy with my fabric, but that's okay. Um, my next one is um, Bushel and a Peck. This one I started last year on Mother's Day. It's in honor of my mom who I lost in 2022. And she used to sing, this is one of the songs she used to sing to us all the time. So this is a picture of it. I do have pictures of everything else, I believe. So this is Bushel and a Peck. 
This is by La Dida. Bushel and a peck. And I changed the colors on the words because I'm a fan of purple. So I did some more work on this. These, um, these funny little things down here, those are meant to be A's. So that is, I love you a bushel and a peck. Very pretty. I have everything unzipped today, so you don't have to listen to unzipping. My next one is By the Ocean with Jane Austen. This is an older chart. This is by Shakespeare, a Sampler Girl. This has got another one with a funny A. So I got a little bit done on the mermaid. That's supposed to be an A right there. So I want to get the mermaid finish, and then once I get the mermaid finish, it, it'll it'll go really quickly because it's just stitching the the um the words and the alphabet on the bottom. But I like her; she, she's cute. She's gonna be a cute little mermaid. Um, all right. So that's by the ocean with Jane Austen. And all of these will be listed in the descriptions. And then we have Barbara Anna's Dreaming Girl. I'm really enjoying this one. So Barbara Anna Designs Dreaming Girl. And as you can see, she has all of the um, seasons in her hair. She has auburn hair. My mom had auburn hair when she was young. And I am stitching this on, did I say what I was stitching, Jane Austen? It'll be in the notes. I am stitching this on, picture this plus um, 16 count Ada, um, and the color is stellar. And that's where I am on her. So what I decided on a lot of my stitches, I tend to, I tend to sc scatter all over the place rather than finish one section. So I'm trying to go back now and just finish a section so I finished all this down here and I started the vine up here to the flower and then the Sun is here and it goes out the hair will go out that way um, I'm trying not to skip around as much I like how she's coming out I think she's very pretty it's gonna be very nice I'm gonna enjoy having this my cat just came out they think it's dinner time it is not it's very early my next one is um, by Bent Creek. This is called Each Day. Each Day provides its own gifts. Um, I like that saying, and it's something I really should be, like a mantra. <laughs> so I worked a lot more on this... Um, dune or this bank here started another house there's a sailboat that goes in right there and this is on atomic ranch 28 count linen and the color is primrose very hard it's gonna wash out it's a very pale yellow it's very pretty i'd like to have more of that Oh, the next one is my floral postcards. So there are a series of these. They are all uh, month, they're monthly. I am currently working and I have um, probably six of them started in various forms. And um, I promised myself I'm not going to, I'm just going to work one month at a time. So I'm working on April, which I hadn't started. So that was a start and a whip. So this is what April looks like. Um, it is um, sweet peas. So you can see up in the top there, it, says, it does say sweet peas. And I was going gangbusters on this one. So I, as I said, I just started it. So this is where I got, and I was stitching this border. And then I looked ahead and I thought, 
oh wait, I'm off. So I wasn't paying attention to the chart and I just thought the border is the border and I'll just keep repeating that, that sequence all the way down. It doesn't repeat, there's a st one stitch, I'm off one stitch. So I gotta take the border all up, all out up to here. And um, once, I, once I did that, I decided, okay, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna put this away for the day. Um, so I haven't taken it out yet. I'm still I'm still pulling it out. Um, this is done, and then I have a story to tell about this. This is done on um, 28 count linen, and it's picture this plus truffle. And I'm doing all of them on the same truffle, or at least I thought I would. You'll see in a minute. Um, and all I have left on this one is that little swirl right there and then the postmark here, and then another little swirl there, and of course the border. But I should be able to finish that this week, so I will have this one finished this week. And um, I was, got, after my last floss tube, I was cleaning up a whole bunch of stuff, and in the bottom of a bag, I found this, which is the August floral postcard, Gladiola. Now, this fabric and this fabric do not match at all. I thought I, I thought that the fabric was all, all of the other ones are stitched on this fabric here. They'll never be displayed together, so it won't matter. I kind of like this one better, but I have no idea what it is. Absolutely no idea. But I had, it was, it was like on a, on a board, you can see how it was like, it's been, it was wrapped around a board. So I gotta press it, I have to spend some time pressing it. Um, I do have a frame and I do wanna get this one finished um, on a board nice and neat and laced and all that. And um, I'll store it in the frame, but the, fr the frame is be the same frame that I use for, and hopefully I'll have that done for my next floss tube too. Um, the frame will be the same one that I'll use for all of them. Um, and I'll just pop them out and put the new one in. Um, I I don't know. I like this fabric, but that one is more postcard looking. This one kind of has this peachy. It's just a prettier color, I think, than that. It's more, it has more, more um, modeling. You can't see it, but it's more modeling in it. Um, so I should have this one finished and hopefully have that one um, pressed and mounted on a board and in the frame. So you can see what the frame looks like. It won't obviously... It won't go on display until August, but um, I was really pleased when I saw that. I, imagine if I hadn't found that and I had stitched August all over again. I don't, I don't even remember stitching it. <laughs> um, the next one up is the Garden Sampler. This is by Carriage House Samplings. And another one of my alphabet samplers. That's what it's gonna look like when it's done. And again, I decided that I'm skipping around too much and what I need to do is just focus. So what I'm focused on now is getting, first I'll get this vine done and then I'll get this vine done. There, there are just the two vines and then I can start filling in the letters and all the little motifs. I did put the koi fish in this week too. Um, but I am going to focus on getting the vine done and then getting this vine done and then I will fill in. Um, but it's pretty. This is on um, vintage com Zweigart Vintage Country Mocha and it is 28 count linen. It's a lot of, those vines are a little bit tedious, but it goes by fast. So my next one, this is what I am stitching for um, Katie the Novel Stitcher's um, book group, her new book group, group um, Stitches Stitches and Pages, I think she's calling it. And the book that we are reading is um, Tracy Chevalier's A Single Thread. This is a library copy. Um, I did finish it. I don't want to say too much about it. I enjoy the writing. She's an excellent writer. Her historical detail is wonderful. It had me going, I'm not giving away anything by saying this. It had me going online and looking up Winchester Cathedral and the um, the 
kneelers because this is about em these women who embroider the, the kneelers at Winchester Cathedral. And they it actually does exist. <laughs> it is a real thing. Um, so we all were picking a companion piece to stitch not at the same time we're reading the book, obviously, but alongside of it. And since I had been working on the Prairie Schooler ABCs, I decided I would do E is for Embroidery because the book is about embroidery. So that's what I'm doing. I'm doing E is for Embroidery. And I am doing this on Vintage Country Mocha, um, 20 count Ada this time, not linen, one over one. And I haven't got a lot done on it. So I got the, the frame, and this is a piece of embroidery that's hanging in the frame, which you can see right there. And our book discussion will be in May, and I hope to have this finished by then so that um, I can show it when we have our little book discussion about um, what we all thought of the, of the story. It is a good story, and I do recommend it if you are looking for a, an interesting book that has um, a lot of good history. It it is it takes place between world it takes place in the UK, obviously Winchester Cathedral, um, between World War One and World War Two, and it is very heavily woman focused. Um, it is. So much of the historical fiction that has been out in the last 10 years or so is is World War I, World War II based. And I didn't think I wanted to read another one, but this one has such a focus on the embroidery, less focus on the war, more focus on the women. And so it, it, is, it is good. I, um, I have my qualms, but I'm gonna save that for the book discussion. And anybody's welcome to join it. Just I'll link Katie's Katie's uh, floss tube here and, and her Instagram. And you're all welcome to join in too. Her floss tube is amazing. I really like it. And the Hathaway Stitchers, that's Boomerang Stitches. That's the bird herd. Um, their, their floss tube is absolutely hysterical. Um, I just, I love, I love watching them. They are, they're sisters and they have such a good um, camaraderie and they, and they laugh and they, they joke and, um, they get, they get into giggling fits. I love that. All right. My next one is another, um, stitch along. This is the seasonal ABC stitch along. This is, um, Little House Needleworks. This is their seasonal. It's very hard to see the picture. So I've missed my, I missed my assignment for the, for March and I'm still be, I'm, I'm still not finished with that and I'm behind on April. Um, what I found is that this design starts, this is supposed to be motifs for summer and it starts with apples. And to me, apples are not summer. And that kind of threw me for a loop. Um, and I still haven't gotten over it. I can't get used to getting used to it. Um, so this is where I am. Um, this, I believe is a bowl of cherries. I haven't finished that. That was supposed to be finished by March and I haven't finished that. So I started on the ice cream and, um, if you pay attention to the beginning of my floss tube, one of the pictures I put in there, I'll see if I can put another picture up here too. Um, is I was stitching this and I had, I wanted ice cream so bad. And there's a nearby place where you can make your own ice creams. And it's um, got a lot of nostalgic memories from when my children were little and we used to go there all the time. So I took my stitching, I went over there, made my own ice cream and went and washed my hands and sat there and looked out the window and um, did some stitching on this. Um, and that was nice. It was, it was nice to, um, to get out of the house because I'm finding it difficult to, to get out of the house when I'm not, when it's not for work. But that was fun. The ice cream was not good, but that's okay. It was not about the ice cream. It was just about getting out. And my next one is Stitcher. This is by Luminous Fiber Arts. This one has buttons in it and I usually like that kind of thing, but it didn't come with the buttons. And um, I gave away my huge button stash. 
so I don't even have it anymore. So I'm not sure I'm going to put the buttons in. I haven't got a lot done on this since last year. Sorry. This is on Atomic Ranch 28 Count Bayou. And I'm using, um, I think it's Weeks Dye Work. It might be Classic Color Works. It's called Green Onion. But that's where I am on Stitcher. Color looks nice up there, though. I should have ironed this. I like it. I don't know. I'll know more when it's done, but I, I kind of don't think it needs the buttons. Yeah, we'll see. And then the last one that I was working on this week is um, Carolyn Manning. And it is Tree Crazy, and I am working on the spring. And again, um, we are trying to finish stuff rather than skipping all around. So this is like a crazy, crazy patchwork quilt. It's Carolyn Manning. This is done on, so my spring is done on Cross Wings Collection Dog's Day Out. And so you can see it starts, has green down here and then it goes up into the blue sky up there. I should have started it a little further up, but it's okay. I'm fine with it. But I did, I did focus a lot more. So I filled in some over here and over here and I'm going to continue, like I'm going to, I think what I'm going to do is just continue this way around and just get all the ways around and then come in and do the center. I'm not going to worry about filling in the tree. I'll do that last, the, the trunk of the tree. But it's coming out nice. Did I say this was um, linen? It isn't. It's Lugana. Oh, it is linen. I thought it was, it felt, it feels like Lugana. It's very soft. So those are my whips that I worked on the last two weeks. Um, what I plan to do is um, I have a few other whips that I'm going to add into these. Um, not a few, quite a number. So there's about 23 altogether. And I'm just going to keep those, just those 23 whips into, in rotation until um, I have finished them. And then I will pull some of my other whips that I have. Um, I'm going to try not to stitch I will probably end up stitching some of these um, upcoming whips, <laughs> but um, I'm going to try hard not not to. Um, I want I want to get my whip count down. Um, I also have a bunch that you haven't seen yet. A bunch of what I'm calling neglected whips. Those are the whips that, um, for one one reason or another, I just I just put aside and I haven't touched in ages and those need to come out. So, but that's probably not until the summer. So let me show you some of my upcoming whips. Hopefully you'll be seeing some new stuff that you haven't seen much of. So the first one is Autumn Alphabet and it's by Primrose Prim Cottage. I have a thing for alphabets and I was thinking the other day, I would love to have alphabets like in other languages, like a Japanese alphabet, a Russian alphabet, and the little, you know, the little icons that go with it, with the word in the, the language. I think it would be really cool. French, all, all the languages. So this is Autumn Alphabet. And when I bought this, I was thinking, oh, I will, I will have, I will get all of these. And then um, recently, I've de I decided you don't need you don't you don't need to buy all of everything. Um, you're fine with just this autumn one. I don't have to have all of them. And I plan to stitch this on um, fiber. It's fiber on a whim, I think. It's called Eureka, and it's just a plain. It's a very neutral. Very, very neutral. And it's a linen, 28 count linen. So that's what I plan to stitch this on. This is a small stitch. It's 72 by 61. 
And I think if I do pull out anything from this upcoming whip, um, I didn't, I didn't unzip these. I'm sorry. Um, I think I'll make sure I pull out a, one that's a smaller count. The next one is Coffee Saves Lives. I have a lot of coffee. Thing. This is by Heartstring, Heartstring Samplery. I love that it looks so primitive and so antique -y. And it says, it says right there, Coffee Saves Lives. It's kind of snuck in. I just, I think that's why I bought it. And I plan to stitch this one on uh, fiber on a whim cafe ole how 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 could i not right and it's again it's just, just it's very much it's a 20 is it what is it it's a 20 count ada so this uh, yeah, yeah well yeah you can see cafe cafe ole um couldn't resist. I had to have that one. This one, the stitch count on this one is big. It's 195 by 195. So this will not be a um, one that I reach out and grab quickly. Maybe you see the last one in this. That's one that I definitely won't be reaching in and grabbing out quickly. The next one, Fairy Coffee Mother. And this is also by Heartstrings, Heart String Samplery. I love her wild and crazy hair. the coffee beans around the corner. And I plan to stitch this one on, are you ready for this? I did do a floss toss and it will work. This is 20 count Ada, it's, it's fiber on a whim. And it is called Tuscan. How wild is that? And the, the, colors, the, the colors will work perfectly on it. I love that. Look very different than the um, model, but I love it. And this, it's 110 by 62. So it's not as small as it looks. I mean, it's, it's quite long. And then I have, oh, this, these are so cool. These are flower bookmarks. And I hope they're not too difficult to do because I really, I really think this would be fun to, to make for if I ever got the courage to go to a, um, what do they call them? Retreat. So it's made on, so it's just made on pages, on paper. And you just cross stitch the, the um, design on a piece of paper that is folded. Um, I just, I just think it's so cute. I have no idea how to do it. I haven't even opened this. Oh, it was, it was launched in Nashville of 2023. So it's a fairly new, it's Haystack Stitching. And it says it's part of a new series. I'll have to look it up and see if they have any more. So again, Flowers Bookmark Kit. That's definitely one I could pull out if I finish one of my projects. The next one is um, Little House Needleworks. And this um, should, is the, the fabric is Picture This Plus Dubloon, 32 count linen. And the reason I went with this 32 count is because this is a tiny stitch. So this is, this is what a kitty cottage sampler. It's very small kitty cat. Um, and the, like the C, it says catnip. So there's little words in there that have to do with cats. I'm not gonna open it up. It does, oh, 79 by um, by 97 is the stitch count. And I'm stitching this on, like I said, picture this plus doubloon, which I think everybody has probably stitched on at some point. And my next upcoming whip, this one's pretty. I I wish I had some, something done because I would love to start this in June. This is Love is Love by Jan Hicks. It's on Picture This Plus Legacy. 
it's going to be on. I would love to have that ready to start in June. And what I had picked out for this is the picture of this plus legacy. Um, this is when I was buying like 5,000 neutrals. But there's so much color in that one, I don't want to detract from it. Um, it's, it's very much like um, vintage country mocha. Um, this is 30... I've never, I don't, I think I might have stitched. Oh no, this is 28 count. I'm sorry. It's the little house, little, the little kitty house that I'm doing on 32 count. So this is, it's 20 count. And it's Lugana. I'm sorry. It's not, it's not linen. It's Lugana. So that's why I feel so soft. I was thinking, wait a minute, this is picture this plus linen and it feels this soft. Can't be. Because it's not. And then this is definitely not one I will be picking up anytime soon. This is Rose, Rosewood Manor. And I love this. I really, really, really love this. And I really can't wait to stitch it and have it hanging on my wall. This is Music Amongst the Trees. Oh my God, I love this so much. Sorry, my cat's chewing the, chewing the um, zippers. One of my cats has an absolute fascination with zipper pulls. Um, can't leave anything with a zipper around. Anyways, this says, There is always music amongst the trees in the garden, but our hearts must be very quiet to hear it. Oh my gosh, I really, really love this. The stitch count on this is uh, 245 by 122. My plan is to stitch this on Fox and Rabbit's ballet slippers. I picked it for the name. And this is eight, 18 count Ada. I'm going to have to measure this again because I have to make sure that that's going to, I think it'll fit. It's very, it's very, very, very um, ballet pink. I really love it. I really love it. That'll be gorgeous. And music amongst the trees on ballet slippers. It's perfect. And then I have, I'm sorry, I keep getting notifications and they're distracting. Um, artsy, housework, artsy Housewife, and it's Una Owl. She's very cute. Another thing for my bird herd stitching. Um, the bird herd SAL is any bird. So you can, so, and it's ongoing. It'll be, it'll be something that we will be doing forever. We hope it's just any bird. So this is on, I think it's fiber on a whim and it's called, oh, it's called Duxbury. Um, years ago, well, I grew up, well, I didn't grow up, but I spent my teenage years in a town called Duxbury. It's on the south coast of Massachusetts, and that's why I got this fabric. So, and I don't know why I decided to stitch Una on it, but I am. And I don't know why the fabric is called Duxbury. I'm sure it's not for the town. That would be weird. And then this one, this is lives in this bag which was gifted to me and um i am excited about it um it was gifted to me by um sharon, uh, sharon lewis in maine and it came with this little little purse too so i think i put the um yeah i put the floss my floss card in there and how appropriate is this? The postman. This is the only one of the um, the last um, country um, cottage garden samplery series. That, this is the only one that really, really loved. I really, really loved. So I'm going to be doing that on um, Atomic Ranch um, 28 Count Linen. And it's pomp Pompous Reed. It's very neutral. It's a little bit lighter than vintage country mocha, but I love that this pattern can live in this postally themed. This is the only um, 
true project bag I have. But I love it. Yeah, it's true. And next on my upcoming whips is Seasonal Sunshine by Ink Circles. This is just, I'm planning on doing this on just plain old, um, it's 14 count Ada. It's going to be huge, but that's fine. It's 173 by 55. So it will be very, very, very long, but this is cool. So that's another seasonal one with this, the seasons all in one, one row there. I like this. And because the colors, because it's full coverage and it's so bright, I decided I'm just going to stitch that on white. So I'm just going to stitch that on white Ada. Um, I had 20, I had 14 count white Ada in my stash. It's something that I used to, I, I thought I can't stitch on anything else. It has to be white Ada or oatmeal Ada. And um, then I decided later that no, you can stitch on whatever you want in whatever colors you want. And then my penultimate one is Stitching Squirrels. This is by Blue Flower. This was an impulse buy last year. So there's two different, there's two charts in here. So it's a good bar bargain. This is the one that I want to work on. I like this little pit pinch bowl thing. Um, I probably won't do that, but I like it. Oh, I guess there's four pat. There's three patterns because there's the drum up here too. But I want to wear, I want to do this one first and I'm going to do it on Fox and Rabbit's dirt track. Which again, again, my neutrals. This is, um, uh, much, much darker than Vintage Country. I, everything is compared to Vintage Country Mocha because everybody knows that. Um, much, much darker. But it, I think it'll look good with the squirrels. I did do a floss top, floss toss on it. But I probably won't do that little pinch basket. I'll probably frame it. Or make it into a, no, I won't do a pillow. All right. And my last one in my upcoming whips is one that I definitely won't be picking up anytime soon. This is the infamous Leela Studios Summer Quaker. There she is. This is probably the biggest project that I will ever work on. And I am doing this on Fiber on a Whim, 20 count Ada, and it's called Cream and Sugar. So my eyes won't be straining or anything, but I mean, it's, it's just, it's a very, it's a very, very pale beige, just like you would imagine cream and sugar. Um, although my cream and sugar in my coffee never was quite this light. Um, I was joking with somebody that, um, for years I would drink my coffee with cream and sugar and I was drinking more sugar and coffee I, I was dumping a lot of sugar in there um and now and then one day i decided you know what this is silly you can't you can't you can't be eating drinking this much sugar so um i stopped drinking i stopped adding the sugar cold turkey just stopped adding the sugar but i did keep the cream and i still do have the cream i just i just like my my coffee with a little bit of cream i just it's just never gonna go away that's what it's gonna always be so those are my upcoming whips. So in two weeks, what I would like to do is show you the, what, the progress that I've made on the 23 or so that I'm going to keep in rotation and also show you my, ready for this, future whips. <laughs> so they're not upcoming because they don't have fabric picked out. So they're future. It's just stash. <laughs> Let's just call it what it is. It's just stash. So That'll be in, um, in two weeks when I, when I do another film. Um, yeah, so I don't think there was anything else. I do feel better now that I've, I've talked to you guys, even though you're not really here. <laughs> um, it does, it does feel good, better to just talk and show all my, all my stuff. And, um, I'm going to, Put everything back away where it belongs and sit down and stitch the rest of the evening i have a few new a few other whips that you haven't that you saw last my last last two but i'm going to bring them out now and add them into these um 
and try to finish the floral postcard. I'd like to have that one finished and the one that's already finished, fully finished. And um, I think there was another one that was close to be, no, I think it was just the floral postcards that were close to be doing, be done. Um, this one here, I think I could probably finish very quickly too. So um, I might, you know, in the next, next week, I might, I might just focus on three projects the th rather than stitch on 23. Um, just focus on three projects and, or four projects and just get those done so that I have that good feeling about finishing something. We'll see. We'll see how it happens. But thank you all for watching. I will put the notes in the description box um, along with Katie the Novel Stitchers, um, Floss Tube, and Hathaway Stitches. Those are the two that are coming right to the top of my head. There are a bunch of other um, Kensington Cross Stitch. I watch her all the time. Um, there's a bunch of floss tubes that I regularly, I routinely, I don't miss. Um, they, um, they just, they're just there. So I will try to make, I mean, I watch way too many floss tubes to list them all in the description. So I will list the ones that I never miss. And, um, I like to look at other people's descriptions and see which ones, because then I always add to my, to my floss, my floss tube watching. I, I'm trying not to watch television. I'm trying not to, oh, well, floss tube is social media, but um, it's it's different than Facebook and, and Instagram. I do post on Instagram, but that's mostly for me so that I can keep track of my progress on different pro projects. Um, but yeah, I want to, I want to try to watch more floss tubes because I do enjoy it. It's more, it's relaxing. It's company. It's nice to have. So I will see you all in two weeks. Thank you very much for watching. And I hope you enjoyed seeing some of my progress. Bye, everyone.